Good evening, good evening, Guillermo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Marlon. Good evening. Este día va a estar un poquito interesante la clase. Hay contenido bastante nuevo. Ah, Marvin is connecting right now. Hello, Marvin. Hello, teacher. Eh, teacher, por yes. creo que una hora voy a estar de oyente porque aún sigo en el trabajo. A las nueve okay. ya voy a poder participar, teacher. Ok. Graciela, are you going to participate? Sí, se puede un poquito porque fíjese que anda algo mala de la gripe, por eso es que ayer estaba de oyente. Pero ella tiene varios días de oyente. Lo que pasa es que estaba saliendo noche del trabajo, entonces ahorita sí ya pude venir temprano a casa, entonces, por eso fue que no le puse de oyente hoy. Ok, let's start, Guillermo. I guess only you are going to do this. Ok, eh, I want to present the, the presentation and then I want to tell you what you are going to do. Okay, the topic for today is Impropressing Progressive for Temporary Situations. Okay, we have studied this Impropressing for Future, we have studied this Impropressing for uh, an Unfishing, an unfishing uh, Actions. And now for Temporary Situations, that this is very new. So, we are going to try to make the difference in the previous and in this. That's why it is important that you are here in the class and understand the class because maybe this is a little confusing. See if you don't understand. So pay attention to this class, please.
Okay, the topic, well, the name of the unit is scheduled event at the workplace. Objective, talk about temporary situations using present continuous. What is that? Temporary situation. That is what we are going to see. And, okay, I'm going to stop the sharing in this moment because we are going to begin with an activity that is in the WhatsApp. Okay, uh, we are going to do two activities of reviewing the yesterday's topic and And then we begin the, well, today we are going to do some, uh, some activities related to, to yesterday's topic, because yesterday we didn't finish. So the two activities of the WhatsApp is for reviewing yesterday's topic and in the uh, manual we are going to review, okay, also. Okay, so, let us uh, connect to the WhatsApp, please, in this moment. Okay, I'm going to send right now the link in the WhatsApp. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. El link que mandó in the mañana. No, in, in, no, in this moment. In this moment. Ah, bye. Bye. Okay, enter to this. In this moment, I am sending it. Okay, enter and do the activity. Hello, Kathy. We are doing an exercise in the WhatsApp. Enter in the link that you have in the WhatsApp. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Okay, for everybody, because you don't turn on the camera, I don't know if you are here or you are not here. Can you please turn on the camera? Sara? No, teacher. Okay, do you listen what I said about the link? Yes. Say okay. now. Doris, Fatima, and who else? Marlon, you are there now. You were walking, right? Walking. Okay, do you listen that about the, the link in the WhatsApp? Yes, it's true. Do it in this moment. Thank you. 
Okay, I get you finished. I'm right. Yes. Okay, I want to ask you, what word do you use for a place? Uh, what question word do you use for asking for a place? Where? 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 What word do you use when you are? What question word? I want to say what uh, question word do you use when you are asking for time? When? 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 Okay, what question word do you use when you are asking for frequency? How often? How often? What question word do you use when you are asking about ways or manners? Uh, Why? What? Okay, ways or how? manners is how. Yes. How? Yes, it's how. What question word do you use when you are asking about person or people? Who? Who? What question word do you use when you are asking for a reason or purpose? Why? Why? What question word do you use when you are asking for things or actions? What? 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 Okay, the last one. Now we have another review, okay? In the WhatsApp, I'm going to send it to. In this moment,
Ready? Yes, it's true. Are you ready, Sara? Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to read the answer and, and you tell me the question. Okay, what is the question for his playing basketball? What is he playing? What is he playing, teacher? Exactly. Okay, what is the question for Maria's cooking spaghetti? What is Maria cooking? What is she or what is Maria? What is Maria? What is Maria? What is Maria? Okay, what is Maria cooking? What is the question for she is listening to music in the shower? Where is she listening to music? Okay, what is the question for he is reading a book? What is he reading? What is Perito reading? Perito reading. Uh -huh. What is Perito reading? And what is the question for my mom is cooking? What is, what, your, what is, your, what is your, mom your mom doing? What is the question for she is dancing hip hop music? What kind of what music? What kind of is music? The... She is Laura dancing. Okay, what is the question? What is what, Laura? What, what, what kind of music is, is Laura, Laura dancing? Laura dancing. Uh, what is the question in he is cleaning the house? What is he doing? What is he doing? What is, what is the question in he is exercising at the gym? Where is he exercising? Where is he exercising? Okay, guys. If you noticed that I was turning and turning on, turning off the microphone in every because of the noise here. Okay, sometimes there is noise. And we finish this. Okay, thank you very much. We can keep so Oh well, some of you know the cell phone, the site, okay, the the app. And now we are going to finish the activities that we left yesterday in the manual. Okay, I'm going to share this for you, and I'm going to explain it. Okay, page thirty-six. Page 36. Yesterday we started how to ask WH questions with the present continuous. And we didn't say only we started the present continuous and we didn't say uh, this present continuous is for the future, this is present continuous is for this, is for that. Okay, we only study the present continuous in general. Asking WS question. Okay, what are the WS questions? The WIS questions are the ones that you use the words what, when, where, why, which, who, and how. And that we already studied uh, with the two activities that we did in this moment. And you play it in the WhatsApp, in the site that I sent the link. And the structure is WS question word, the verb to be as an auxiliary, the subject, the verb, 
with ing and the complement. Okay, examples of this are, why is he meeting the new people today? If you are asking with why, it's because you are asking for a reason. And always that you ask with why, you answer with because. Okay, why and because are the same in Spanish, but they are different words. How do we differentiate this in the in the Spanish? Because we say por qué separated, you know, grammar in Spanish, separated and the apostrophe in the E, okay. But the because is like a por qué in Spanish, but together, right? Without the apostrophe in the E. That is Spanish grammar. Now in the number two. Example, when the new office launching, okay, you see the W question word, the verb to be as an auxiliary, the subject, the verb with the IAG. And when you ask asking about when, it's because you are asking about time. Time in general. Time in general can be month, can be day, can be year, can be time, the, the hours, the minutes, time in general. Okay, the answer here is launching on, maybe here because it begins with on, we are going to mention a day because you know when you say days, we use on. On Monday, on Tuesday. Okay, number three, where is your boss having the, annu the annual meeting? In, and here you mention the place. Okay, here we have the number four, the exercise number four, what you are going to do is complete the present continuous. You already have here the question word. What company? How? When? Which factory? Why? Only use the subject and the verb in parentheses to do the W's question, W this question with the present continuous. Okay, do it in this moment.
Okay, I guess that ready. it's ready. Ready, ready, teacher. Okay, you, Rosalie, are going to tell me the number two. Uh, Doris, the number three. Sarah, number four. And Marlon, number five. Okay, begin, Rosalie. And number two, how is he dividing the groups? How is he dividing, 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 the, groups? dividing the groups? How is he dividing the groups? Good. Number three. When, when is she handing the checks? Where is, when is she handing the checks? Number four. Which factory is your boss visit this month? Which a uh, factory? Which factory? factory is your boss visit? Visit, uh, Sara. Visit? visit, visit or visiting? Visiting. Uh -huh. Is your boss visiting? Visiting, visiting this month. This month. Okay. Which factory is your boss visiting your uh, this month? Okay, number five. Estoy haciendo la teacher. Yo tengo dudas con esta. Who wants to do it? Why? Why is secretary working the next Saturday? Okay. What is the subject? The new secretary or only the secretary? Mm, secretary. No, is the new secretary. Eh, mm. la, cuando usted va a identificar un sujeto, las características del sujeto van con el sujeto. Por ejemplo, si usted dice mm -hmm. ugly, the ugly man, the happy woman, the beautiful yes, teacher, me. Sandra. Ok. Mm, okay. <laughs> Entonces sería like ahí. New secretary working. Uh -huh, the new secretary. The new is the I, new secretary. Why the new secretary working? Working the next Saturday. Exactly. The new me estaba haciendo el. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, I know. It's natural. Lo comprendo muy bien. Yo ya pasé por eso. Hace miles de años, pero ya pasé. Y hace bastante. When I was young. O sea, eso es nuevo para mí, que lo, como las características tienen que ir con... con sí, con sí, esto. fíjese. Beautiful no, woman. Entonces, ahí el, también, los, por ejemplo, hay gente que confunde que yo, por ejemplo, le, lo tratan de poner como sujeto. Y yo no es sujeto, yo es un, es un posesivo. Y el posesivo siempre va con el sustantivo. Juntos hacen el, el sujeto. Por ejemplo, your boss, tu jefe, ¿verdad? ¿Quién estoy hablando? Pues de tu jefe, ¿verdad? De, de, Entonces, de, de, ¿de quién estoy hablando? De new secretary. De ella estoy hablando. De new secretary. ¿De quién estoy hablando? Ese es el sujeto, ¿verdad? De new secretary. ¿Y por qué usamos de aquí? Porque es específico. Estamos hablando de la nueva, no estamos hablando de cualquier secretaria. Si solo diríamos mm -hmm. secretary is only why is, well, de secretary sí va porque siempre llevaría, ¿ve? porque estamos hablando de la secretaria. De es el artículo que 
Es para especificar de quién estamos hablando. Ok. A es de indefinido, ¿verdad? Aquí D es específico. Why is the new secretary working the next Saturday? Okay, guys, it's good. What do you say? Is do you understand this better now? And you are going to understand better, better, better when you do the exercise. This the number five. Okay, what do I want here? I want you to write, write in this moment individually five questions that you suppose that you are going to ask your classmates, but you different WH question word. Don't use the same. For example, what, when, how, who, why. Okay, don't repeat, don't repeat the WS question word. Okay, write in this moment the five questions, please. Remember that we are in the present continuous. Don't ask questions where, for example, where do you live? Because where do you live is present, simple present. We are asking W's question with the present continuous. While you are Writing this, I'm going to pass the attendance. Hey, Adi is a oyente in this moment, so I know that she is here, but as a oyente, Cristina, well, there is uh, another thing, right? Um, uh, let me see, Claudia, Marcela. Are you in the class, Claudia? Yes, teacher. Doris present Evelyn pidió permiso pero como ustedes saben que permisos no hay ni modo Fátima present teacher Graciela present Guillermo Present teacher. Isamar. Carla Janet. Kathy. Present teacher. Marixa. Present. Marlon. Present. Marvin. Present teacher. Patrick. Yo creo que a Patrick sí ya no la voy a nombrar. Ok, Raquel, Isabel. Elizabeth, Pre sorry. Present. Rosalie Bon. Present. Sarva. Presentation. Su mamá quizás mucho miraba la serie de Friends, ¿verdad? Present. ¿Va que sí? Susana. Okay, I know that she's Present here. Present teacher. Present teacher. <laughs> yes, yes, Susana, ya la, ya la puse.
Teacher. Las preguntas tienen que ir en present continuo. Yes, yes. Ok. Ready, guys? Are you ready? Ready? No, All right. I get that it's not ready. Okay. Who is ready? Only you, Guillermo. 
Yes, sir. Me la han puesto difícil porque vamos a ir grupo de seis. Quiero ver. Y hay dos que sí han pedido estar como oyentes. A mm, ver sí. Yes. Well. Mm -hmm. Marvin, are you in the class now? Not yet. No lo he, no lo he hecho, teacher. Uh, porque saliendo voy ahorita. Okay. Okay. Uh, Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. ¿Cuándo es que utilizamos eh, vacation and holidays? Es que vacation es más general. Que vacation puede tomar como vacaciones de, que a usted le dan anuales, por ejemplo. Y holidays solo son días festivos. Ah, que no okay. necesariamente puede ser vacation para usted, <ríe> Ponce, uh -huh. porque se puede trabajar un día festivo. Que no es Ajá. Ok, gracias. Are you ready, Rosalie? Ready, teacher. Doris? Are you ready, Doris? Oh, yeah. I'm going to stop. Estoy here. terminando.
Marixa, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Hoy no le he visto, Marixa. Mm -hmm. Aquí estoy. Ajá. No quería enseñarme la blusa, va. No, no es. <laughs> Okay, we are going to go to the breakout room. You are going to ask the five questions to your partners, but you have to write the answer. Okay, you have to write the answer. Then we come back to the main room and I'm going to ask you, for example, Rosalie, read your question and the answer, and you read your question and your answer. So you, you know what you have to do. Let me see you are so good. Eh, teacher yes debemos ir respondiendo las preguntas o solo diciendo preguntas usted le va a hacer las preguntas a Fátima y lo que ella le responda usted lo va a escribir ah, okay. y viceversa uh, y viceversa ok, okay. thank you teacher thank you okay, okay. You. Where are you? Where are you? Going on vacation. ¿Qué es lo no. que vas a hacer en vacaciones? 
sería, what are you doing on vacation? Where, Karen? What? ¿Dónde vas a ir en vacación? Oh, ah, sí, Iván. Ajá. Ajá. Uh, pues, uh, I am um, visiting... Ok, Susana y Adi, yo no sé si me están escuchando, pero las he puesto aquí a las dos porque las dos me dijeron que iban a estar de oyente. Ok. Thank you, Susana. Vale, entonces uh, siempre entren, pero ya se sabe que ustedes dos no me van a participar. De vuelta, ya. ¿Qué tiempo? ¿Cómo qué tiempo? What time? ¿Qué dice? What time? What time are you leaving the world? Leaving in the world. Eh, está saliendo. Yeah. ¿A qué hora sale? Algo así. Uh -huh. ah, eh, sería. Mi hora de salida es my. ¿Cómo dice? Recuerde ser aquel de que estamos con el contigo. Entonces ella le dijo, What time are you leaving? leaving. Your work. Entonces usted tiene que decir, I am leaving. Y como le está diciendo, What time? Tiene que decir una hora. I am leaving at. Y ahí va a decir una hora. I am leaving. Ah. Ajá, I am leaving. Ok. Bueno, sería, I am leaving 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. Ok. When, when are you going on vacation? Working at laboratorios, ¿qué? Aire. Aire. Laboratory. Aire. Okay, in English is laboratory. Ah. Laboratory. Laboratory. Pie. Pie laboratory. Pie laboratory. Pie laboratory. Okay. What is the name of the laboratory? Pile. Pile. Is it good? Is your laboratory good? Uh -huh. when, when are you is, is staying or staying for the weekend? ¿Dónde te estás quedando el fin de semana, para el fin de semana? I'm staying at home. At a hotel. <laughs> you are staying at a hotel. Estoy castigado. The camera, the camera. No, no puedo salir, estoy castigado. Oh. Que si salgo no aparezco hasta el lunes. 
<risa> Teacher, una pregunta. Este, a la hora que demos el reporte, eh, lo vamos a contestar con el I am o en tercera persona. He is... Third person. Third person. Ah, bye. Ah, entonces, es eh, he. Uh -huh. Ajá, ahí lo voy a ir diciendo yo. He is he. Ajá. Ok. Bueno, esas serían las cinco mías. Bueno. I am studying English. Okay. Ahora yo. Why are you studying? No, ese es el ice, sorry. When are you taking your lunch? And uh, I am taking my lunch in my work in the cooking in the my work <laughs> the cook in my work <laughs> how what the question fatima with when or with where when uh -huh. when are you taking your lunch uh -huh. oh, okay. sorry 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> and i am uh, i am taking my lunch at uh, Middle, creo que es. Ajá. At noon. At, at noon. En 12 p.m. En 12 p.m. You can say at noon or oh. at 12 p.m. But say at noon. Ok. At noon. At noon. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes.
How do you feel today, Claudia? Fine, teacher, but I have to, I don't know, with the, how do you say, calor, because it's so hot. Hot, you are hot. Yes. Hello, Marvin. Are you a Hello, home? teacher. Uh, in this moment. And if possible to turn on the camera, I will appreciate it. Yes, in one minute. Solo entro, permita. La verdad es que apre aprecio la colaboración de los que encienden la cámara. Okay, I hope everybody is ready. For some reasons, I want to begin with <laughs> Guillermo. I don't know how <laughs> we begin with Guillermo. Okay, remember you read question and answer, question and answer. Try to Teacher, do it quickly, uh, please. I, I didn't finish. But you said yes. Uh, yes, I, I finished my, my question. Only uh, one, only one. Bueno, faltaron dos, perdón. Dos, ajá. Eh, sorry, sorry, pero cuando yo entré me dijeron que ya habían terminado. No, habíamos terminado no. las de ella. Ajá, las mías hacia él. Ah, no. Ok. So Esas you... tres que le digan. Esas tres que le digan. Ajá, yes, yes, yes. Yes, tell me the three. Okay, so Rosalie. Bueno, uh, the question, what are you doing tomorrow? And uh, he is say, and he is Ah, pero en tercera persona la tenemos que decir, ¿verdad? Yes, what yes. Is he, what is he doing? No, the question no. is... Es, es, es así, how are you? Uh -huh, Ajá, the, read it, it the same. Okay. What right. are you doing? Or something like that. He is, but he is uh, working tomorrow. When are you coming home? She... She, no, he is coming on Friday. What time plan planning the meeting tomorrow? She is, he is plan, planning the meeting at the afternoon. Why are you studying English? Because he is learning things. Where are you st studying for the weekend? He is studying in your house, in her house. His house. His house. Thank in you, Rosalie. Now, uh, Kathy? Yes, sir. Uh, the question and as well. Yes, yes. Okay. What are you doing on the trip? She's a during the snack. What are you eating? She is eating a meat. When are you uh, exercising? I don't know. It's okay, the pronunciation. Exercising. Exercising, Exercising. sorry. 
Where are you exercising? She is exercising to este, twice a week. Why are you studying English? She, uh, yeah. uh, because I have a better job. And who are you doing? She is a good. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Kathy. Now, Claudia. Hi, teacher. <laughs> um, the question uh, when uh, you're working and she is working at laboratory, a uh, pale labor laboratory. And when you going to the cinema, and she go she going once a month. And what are you going on the weekend? And she's she's going to work. And um, what are you doing in your birthday? And she is eating cake. Okay, the majority you did it in the future, right? Because it's, at the moment, is uh, right now, it's a little difficult because you don't know exactly what they. Mm. Only listening the class or something like that. Okay, let me see who is next. Next, next is Marixa. The question What are you studying? She is studying English. Where are you working? She's working in Sayapango. What time are you leaving the work? She's leaving the work at 6 p.m. When, when are you going on vacation? She's going on vacation in the beach. Who are attending the meeting? She's attending the meeting. Very good. The, those answers were from Sarah, right? No. Con Raquel? Ah, Raquel, so Raquel, sorry. Yes. Eh, Marlon? Teacher, yo no alcancé a hacer las preguntas. O sea, porque estaba en un grupo y luego me agregó a otro. Entonces, solo las otras dos compañeras eh, hicieron las preguntas. Falté yo. Okay, Raquel. Solo recuerdo una, sí. Uh -huh. Tell me. Eh, creo que le dijo eh, la compañera Raquel, where are you living? Eh, la respuesta fue, she, I, I live in the San Jose Guayabal. ¿Qué fue la respuesta de la... Mm -hmm. Esta pregunta es bien así, en, como decirla, bien contextual en cierta forma bien especial que podrían de hacerla, pero usualmente esa pregunta siempre es en presente simple, ¿ok? Es pre por tradición es en siempre, siempre presente simple, ¿ok? ¿Cuál do you live? I live in. Como es de todos los días, ¿va? Eso no es una acción que está en progreso. O que vaya a ser futura. Uh -huh. And, okay, who wants to do it? Who wants to do it to continue with a new topic? Nobody? Okay, so, uh, because I want to include all of you, if I see, you want to participate, I give you the opportunity. 
Okay, bye. If you know, we continue. No, nobody? The new topic. No, the, the, the questions. If somebody wants to say it, because we are going to change to the new topic. Um, a mí me había dicho, Raquel. Okay, do you want to do it? Okay, say it. When, when are you going... When are you going home? She at home every day at night. We why is the starting for night? Is she is working at night? Where is where is working in San Salvador? She is not working in San Salvador in Santa Ana. Who is your sister? She is not she is not sister. What what are you today washing in the class? She washing in W question. Uh, studying. Maybe the last one is studying. Uh, she's studying W questions. Study. Yes. Okay, thank you, Raquel, for saving me. And we are going to continue with the topic today. Okay, today, as I told you, the topic is simple present progressive for temporary situations. We have started the present continuous for unfinished, unfinished actions and for the future. Now we are going to see it for temporary situations. Actually, you did it already. In the question that you did, the, uh, that you ask, you include some, you made a mix, okay? Some of the questions were in the future, one of the questions were at the moment, well, the majority were temporary, let me tell you. Not the ones that you are doing right now. Okay, now let's present this. Okay, what if the present continues temporary situations? The present continuous is used to express repeated or habitual actions in the present that are temporary and may or may not actually be happening at the moment or at the time of speaking. For example, where are you going? Mm. Uh, on vacations in general, right? Well, I am trying to remember some of that you did, but actually I'm not going to use uh, the one that you said because maybe I don't remember them very well. Continue. The actions or situations in maybe for a long period of time. Okay, it can be a week, a month, or a year, but it is temporary not permanent, and it is expected to finish soon. For example, Lucy is taking piano lesson these days. Are you still seeing that guy from the hiking club? Okay, in the first example that you say Lucy is taking piano lesson these days, in the first, the period is these days. Doesn't, doesn't say exactly, but can be 10 days, 20 days. Okay, it can be a period, a long period. But the action is happening during these days. Are you still seeing that guy from the hiking club? Club? Then this can be that you are seeing the guy 
uh, these days in, I don't know, because it doesn't say the time, but this action is for a period of time and the action is taking place, but not exactly in this moment. Okay, so I'm going to repeat in few words, not reading in my words. You use the present continuous for temporary situation for a, for habitual actions in the present that happen in a long period or can be short period of time, but not necessarily has to be uh, the action in the progress at the moment because the action is developing in a period of time. Okay, what can be the period? A week, a month, or a year. Okay, what is the difference between present continuous for unfinished actions and present continuous for temporary situations? Okay, present continuous for unfinished actions is used when you spread the action at the moment of the speaking. Example, I am working in this moment. Okay, you can see the action. You can see the person, you can see the animal or whatever, whoever or whatever, doing the action. You can see it. The action is in progress in the moment. You can see it. Okay, for example, in this moment I can see that Rosalie is sleeping. <laughs> I see your eyes. I can see it, okay? That is unfinished actions no temporary, okay? Fíjense que eso de temporary or unfinished que pueden mezclarse, pueden mezclarse, porque si el temporary, yo lo estoy viendo en el momento, se convierte en unfinished, okay? Pero no necesariamente, okay? For example, I can see that Marlon is watching me, or Marlon is reading the, what is in the, PowerPoint presentation. Ah, uh, Marlon is putting his hand on his face this way. Okay, Marlon is putting his hand. His face. I am watching the activity. Uh, uh, Rosalie is touching her face too, this way. I can see the action. This is this not for, <laughs> for temporary. I can see another action. Let me see. Uh, ah. Marvin is touching his lips, touching his mouth. Um, Kat is only watching the, the computer. She is paying attention. She's paying, listening, listen what I am saying. She's listening what I am saying. Okay, do you see the actions are happening in this moment? I can see the actions. I, I am the, but what is the temporary? Present continuous for temporary situation he used for an action that is taking place in a certain period, but it is not happening at the moment of the speaking. Example, I am working these days, for example, you are working very hard these days. Can I see that you are working? No, but you are working because these days you are working. Can I see that um, you are, well, let me see one example that I cannot see and it's happening in this moment. You are taking an English course? Yes, it can be both. Piense de que te, ese ejemplo de que you are taking an English course. Por ejemplo, si yo lo digo, ustedes no están en la clase, pero yo lo digo o ustedes lo dicen. Le lo cuentan a un amigo, ¿verdad? Hey, I am taking English classes. Lo dice en presente continuo porque es algo que usted está haciendo, ¿verdad? Pero solo le está contando que lo está desarrollando en un periodo pero no lo está haciendo en el momento, ¿verdad? Ok, no lo está haciendo en un momento, pero en este momento sí lo está haciendo. 
entonces se convierte en ambas. Se convierte en temporary y en unfinished porque se está desarrollando. Cuando sea en la tía, terminemos la clase, entonces allí terminará la primera parte, ¿verdad? Cuando decimos unfinished. Ok, entonces hay un dos. Eh, podemos resumir de que el present continuous lo usamos en tres momentos. Uno, cuando la acción se está desarrollando en el momento, la podemos ver. La otra es cuando es una acción que se está desarrollando un periodo de tiempo, pero no, no se está desarrollando en el momento que la estamos diciendo. Podemos estar haciendo otra cosa, pero la acción sí la estamos haciendo. Por ejemplo, ustedes pueden hacer que eh, están escribiendo un reporte, pero todos los días que llegan al trabajo lo escriben. Le adelantan, va. Pero ahorita no lo están escribiendo. Entonces eso está en progreso, pero ustedes no lo están haciendo ahorita. Yo creo que ya, ya expliqué lo suficiente. Yo creo que sí se entendió cuál es la diferencia. Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok. Creo que ya sería redundante. Ok. Now let's continue. What are the time expressions used for the present continuous uh, when it's temporary? It's a, for temporary situations. Okay, you have at the moment, but remember that we have at the moment also with the unfinished, the one that we are speaking at the moment that the action is taking place. But this at the moment is not exactly in the, the moment exactly this moment. No, it's in the moment you say, even in Spanish you say, what are you doing these days? Ah, uh, and you say in Spanish, in este momento no estoy haciendo nada. Ah, en este momento estoy tomándome un relax. Aún en el día lo decimos, pero no es que en el momento lo está haciendo, ¿verdad? Sino que este at the moment es más general, ¿ok? At the moment también lo ocupamos para hablar lo de unfinish, cuando la, de, la, la acción se está desarrollando. O sea, este lo ocupamos inclusive también para el futuro. Eh, bueno, si son por segundos. Okay. Now, continue. These days, this week, this month, this year, this semester, temporarily, currently. Okay, you say at the moment, these days, this week, this month, and the pronunciation is the month, this year, this semester, temporarily, currently. Okay, currently is that is in vigencia, right? Currently. Okay, here you have the practice. Complete the exercise using the present continuous. Do it in this moment, please.
teacher. And the question yes. number two. And look, uh, dice tres, tres veces lo vamos a usar. No, o... no, sorry. This number three is ah, ya, ya, a ya, mistake. Ya. <laughs> Uh -huh. it's, it's a mistake, but okay. Yes. Wait a minute, please. I'm going to correct the yes. Marvin, you have to stay today. Excuse me, teacher. You have to stay today. You have to, when the class finish, you uh, have to stay with ah. me. Okay, teacher.
Are you ready? Okay, when you don't answer it, I guess that you are not ready. Finish teacher. Finish Guillermo. Finish teacher. Yes, teacher. How do you feel today, Marisa? I... Uh, good. <laughs> you feel good. <clears throat> Don't cover your camera, Marlon. <laughs> okay, Doris. Fatima. Yeah. With some Marcella. Okay, okay. The number one is going to be for Maritza. The number two for Guillermo. The number three, Claudia Marcella. Number four, Rosalie. Number five, Katy. <laughs> number six, Graciela. Number seven, Sarah. Number eight, Marvin. Number nine, Raquel. And number 10, Doris. Okay, are you ready? Number one, Maritza. Yes. Uh, number one, she's taking a computer a computer course this semester she's taking okay she's taking a computer course this semester excellent marcella hey, Mar maritza sorry sorry <laughs> okay number two Okay. Um, I am looking for a cheap car. Do you have any ideas? Looking for. Mm -hmm. Do you have any ideas? Good. Good emphasis. Good intonation of the question here. Okay, number three. Uh, they are renovating uh, her kitchen, their kitchen this month. It it is taking long time. My turn, teacher. Uh, sorry, but okay. <laughs> I had the microphone off. Uh, I was saying that Marcela has good pronunciation. Okay, thank you. Now continue with the number four. Thank you. I am in the middle 
of reading or reading a really good book. Thank you, Rosalie. Sorry, but uh, a motorcycle was passing out of my house. So that's, that's why I turned off the microphone. Okay, here is middle. Middle, okay. Middle. 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 I am in the middle of reading a really good book. Okay, continue with the number five. I am staying with a friends with this week. Good. Number six. She is living in Seoul for a few months. Mm -hmm. Do you see in this context? Uh, we can use live because it is for a period of time, right? We are saying that it's for a period of time, but in the case that you, for example, you live in Sonsonate, but this is your house. Permanent, uh, your permanent. Yes. Yes. Who is asking? Nobody. The, burning the baseball is for her. Mm, I repeat, Graciela. El verbo base es vivir, no dejar. Ah, sí, yes. Sorry. I don't know how, why did I write this? Okay, I didn't notice. That. <laughs> I was talking about, and I wrote it differently. Living. Uh -huh. Yes. Teacher. Yo quiero ser ella. <laughs> Graciela. No, la que va a vivir en, en Seúl. Ah, eso. Ajá. Por a few months. Ajá. ¿Y, y cómo es eso, eh, Seúl? Eh, ¿Cómo es la capital de Corea? De Corea del Sur. Mire que como yo quizás no conozco ese país, no sé, es bien bonito. Por lo que se ve en los dramas, sí. <ríe> no, no me acuerdo qué país se me ha olvidado en ese momento, pero no es necesariamente Seúl, sino que, que es lo, como lo afaman, como el mejor lugar del mundo, no me acuerdo. Pero es ahí en Asia. Ahí está lo mejor, va. Qué lujo. No se queda, wow. Esa ya es otra vida, va. Esta gente vive en otro mundo. Algún día, algún día. Sí, algún día, Someday. teacher. Ok. Number seven. Jack is working at a coffee until he finds a job in, in his field. Excellent, Sarah. Number eight. Lucy is taking taking piano lesson this day. How do you pronounce in English piano? Piano. 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 Okay. Yeah, piano. Thank you. Number nine. I tell you, I stay seeing, seeing that, that you from the, no sé cómo se dice, hearing, hiking. Well, hiking. Hiking, club. 
Uh, hiking club. Club. Are you still seeing hiking that guy club. from the hiking club? Mm, hiking is a sport that is in the mountains. Are you? Uh -huh. Number 10, who is it? My cousin is practicing skateboarding this week. Okay, my cousin is practicing skateboarding this week. Okay, is practicing. Okay, the number one is taking. The number two is I am looking for. Three are renovating. Number four is a question. Uh, uh, no, it's not a question, but I am in the middle of reading. Number five, I'm staying. Six is, is living. Seven is working. Eight is taking. The nine is question, are you still seeing? And ten is, is practicing. Okay, good. You did it well. As usually. Eh, han merecido la paletita. Le voy a mandar una paletita virtual ahí en el WhatsApp. <laughs> ok. Let's continue. Ok, guys. We are going to practice this conversation. Ok. Look at the two people. They are very formal, as usual. Okay, they are ever in bed. I, as usually, I am going to read the conversation and immediately you answer, you do this, okay? You answer these two questions. I'm going to read it. Or help me, to who do you want? Yes, I remember that Claudia, has good pronunciation, you are going to be Beth. And Guillermo, you are going to be Ever. Read the conversation. Hi, Beth. Long time, long time to see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I'm okay. Well, I'm working on a new project and also I'm taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a, a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. Um, you're right. I am study, studying on my own, you know. And I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I'm doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Thank you very much. Answer the two, que the two questions. Okay, here, uh, right now, you can do it. What are some of the things Ever and Beth are doing these days? Okay, look at the conversation. What are they doing these days? They are taking a course, English course. Yeah, that is one thing. Another? Who is they taking working, the, Yeah. They are working on a new project also. Mm -hmm. Okay, who is taking an English course? Beth. Beth. Ever. Beth. Beth or ever? Ever. But because he is, he's working on a new project working. and also taking an English course these days. Okay, ever is. Ever is. 
working and also is talking uh -huh. and in the score. Uh -huh. He's taking, taking, right. Uh, who is taking the training in England? Bed. A colleague a, of a ever. colleague of ever. Uh, ever's colleague. Ever's colleague. Uh -huh. What is Beth doing? Uh, she she is reading novels. novels to have better results. Uh, what is ever doing that is helping him a lot? Uh, he's doing, uh, he's listening, he's listening exercise. exercise. Yeah, he's listening some exercise. Now the question number two. What thing do you have in common with the people in the conversation? They are. We are taking. Taking. English course. Where are you taking the English course? Uh. Which company is serving you the English course? No, don't tell me that you don't know. <laughs> Do you know the company? The company that is serving you this English course. Creo que retiraré la paleta virtual. <laughs> You don't know the name of the company, guys? Regal, creo que era. Uh, Regal International, but mostly is known as Inglés Corporativo. Inglés Corporativo, guys, that is the name. Who is serving you? And the one that is paying is not Inglés Corporativo. Who is paying this English course? Which company mm. is paying this English course? In support. In support. And your company too. Uh -huh. Okay. So that is what it is related with you, right? That you are studying English an English course. How about uh, studying on your own? Are you studying on your own? You know what is on my own? Por mi propia cuenta. Uh huh. Mm, sometimes. Are, are you studying on your own? Uh, but if, are you if... taking this English course for your own? Or a company sends you to do it? No, for my own. Really, Guillermo? It's not for your. It's not your company that is paying, or is a. Uh, uh, giving you this opportunity? <laughs> no. Oh, yes. They are giving the opportunity. Sorry. Okay, guys. Let me tell you that we are not going to do this, but I'm going to explain this very briefly. Okay. For Okay. How to use present continuous for temporary situations? I already explained it, guys, but I'm going to explain Read the explanation that is here in the manual. Okay, use the present continuous for temporary situation. The expression these days and at the moment are often used to emphasize the temporary aspect of the activity. Okay, remember that this present continuous is a, because it's temporary, not forever. It's not permanent, it's not permanent. Okay, you know that the action is going to finish in, in a certain time. Okay, the examples. I am reading a new book, a new book these days. 
Okay, you are not going to read the book forever. Right? You are doing this action for a, a period of time. Okay, this is a temporary activity because the person will finish reading the book. Wendy is having a meeting at this moment. Okay, this is temporary <laughs> because the meeting is going to finish. Uh, we are taking an English course. In, the, in your case, you are taking an English course for a month. In this case, the uh, beginners two, okay, the beginners two, you are taking the beginners two this month. You are taking the beginners two, but the beginner two is not going to last forever. It's going to finish, unfortunately. For me, <coughs> okay. Here is a writing exercise, like, but and I want to do it because this is going to take a lot of time. Okay. To finish, I want you to tell me one activity you are doing these days. Think about one activity that is not taking an English course. It's not working. No common activities. You say activities, a special activity. Mm, I, I, I am using a new program in, in my job. What is the name of the new program? The name is Index. What is it for? is to to have a como interacción con los clientes interaction clients interaction is yes. for clients interactions yes hey marvin what are you doing these days uh, I, I no sé, teacher. Ok, guys, en el momento que ya llegue a preguntarlo, por favor, necesito que me lo digan así, ve. Pass, pass. Ok, uh, gonna give you a minute to think it. Le voy a dar un minuto para que piense. Pero ese minuto es más tiempo, ok. El que no me lo diga no lo voy a dejar salir. Oh. <ríe> ¿Cómo voy a poderlo evitar? Va? <ríe> ¿Cómo lo voy a poder evitar? Mi teacher. Ajá. Ok, Guillermo, you can leave the class. Thank you. Good night. Marvin, no. <ríe> ok, have a nice night. And Mar eh, Raquel, tell me your sentence, you can go. Marlon, tell me, what are you doing these days? I am working in projects of recycling. You are working on a recycling project. Okay. Recycling. Recycling project. Okay, Marlon, have a nice night. See you tomorrow. See okay, you tomorrow. Claudia. I am practicing doing my nails uh, with uh, jellish. Your nails? Yes. Doing your, ah, you are very maliciosa, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, but you are saving money because this is expensive. Yes. <laughs> okay, good for you. Okay, see you tomorrow, Thank Claudia. You. Sarah? Night.
Eh, I am sending eh, Gmail. No, I say the special activities. Special activities. Yeah, something special. Okay, Marisa. I am, yes. I am studying English. <laughs> no, no, this is a special, but I mean something no con. Uh, uh, that something that we have in not practicing in this class. <laughs> okay. For example, like a uh, um. Claudia said that she was practicing how to make her nails. That is a special, but in the, we haven't mentioned it before. Something mm. original, right? Marixa? I am checking the invoices. Well. You have mentioned it before, but at least not in this class, Marisa. <laughs> okay, so have a nice night. See you tomorrow. Good Doris? Night. See you tomorrow. What are you doing these days? I am uh, reading a new new book. <laughs> Well, about this, if yeah. you <laughs> what is the name of the book? The um, right in español, the El Rinoceronte. Yeah. Ah, okay, it's true. So you can yeah. go. Okay, have a nice night. See you tomorrow. Teacher, I am oh. checking my my social network. Okay, which which one? See you tomorrow, Doris. Facebook. Facebook, ah. Instagram. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Sarah. You can go have a nice night. Who else? Rosalie? I am finally in, in finally review documents for close for close months. Uh -huh, but uh, Finishing in this case, finishing. I am finishing uh -huh. review documents for close months for the Uh-huh, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. I understand for the closure. For the closure of the month. Okay, that is only working, Rosalie. I would like that you say something more entertainment. Okay, something. <sighs> <laughs> that is good, <laughs> Rosalie. Have a nice night. See you tomorrow. Who else? Who See else? Rosalie, Kathy, do you want to go? <laughs> Talk me the same Okay, thing. teacher. Uh, I am going to eat in Mexican food. Oh, I am hungry. Invite me. Okay. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Marvin, are you ready now? Yes, teacher. Okay. I but, am work. But wait, wait a minute, because you're going to stay with me. Okay, Graciela? I am leaving my job late because I am chatting with foreign suppliers because we have to participate in a, what a, how do you say, feria? Fair. You are participating in a fair. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you, Graciela. See you tomorrow. I hope that you uh, attend the class tomorrow. See you. Have a nice night. And Susana and Adi, you can disconnect, please. Susana, you can you can leave the class. Okay, so tell me your sentence, Marvin. Uh, I am working in the inventory. It's very stressful. And por eso salí noche. No sé si aplica. Yes, inventory. That is the inventory. 
Eh, eh, Marvin, eh, una pregunta que me... Que se ve que a usted le, lo incluyeron en un mensaje que le mandaron, ¿verdad? Porque, Bien. este, quizás porque usted sí entra a clases, pero muy poco tiempo. Y eh, si es especialmente en que no entra en la primera parte, en la primera parte es que se introduce el tema y siempre se presenta el tema. Ya la última parte se está practicando. Entonces ahí es donde tenemos la falla, ¿verdad? Como la de hoy, que como no se está manejando el tema, ahí es donde a usted le cuesta. Y siempre sí. sería así que usted eh, entra tarde, porque siempre, siempre pasa así que usted la primera parte se conecta como oyente y después es que participa. Sí, es que es como que tenemos bastante trabajo, entonces dos veces a la semana me quedo hasta las 8.45 a trabajar. Uh -huh. Ajá. Sí, este, sí, yo he sentido que como que le ha afectado un poquito. Sí. sí, yo sentía que me estaba participando un poquito más al principio. Va, sí, pero es cuestión pero... de trabajo, no se puede hacer nada. Va. Uh -huh. Voy a tratar de estudiar más. En las mañanas, sí, para, también, para, o sea, para, para. también depende de usted, porque si usted ve los videos, repasa y todo, yo pienso de que ya lo siguiente ya no le va a costar, pero yo creo que sí, sí quizás tampoco ha estado viendo los videos, pero sí ha estado haciendo sí. la plataforma. Sí, en eso sí he estado trabajando. Uh -huh. Y Ahí que, y bueno, del tema de hoy, como no estuvo en la primera parte, no sé qué decirle, porque... Si le pregunto qué le quedó dudas, pero de lo poco que escuchó, ¿qué es lo que usted o sintió que no entendió nada? Este, ¿cómo le digo? Mm. Es que me cuesta, por ejemplo, en, en encontrar como el sujeto. En eso me confundo un poco, porque cuando usted nos dice que hay veces uno es el sujeto y hay veces es... ¿Cómo es? Usted se, se refiere a las preguntas de ayer, va. Ajá, en eso sí me quedó de duda. O, o sea, sea cuando hacemos tiempo. preguntas con Q. Ajá. ¿Cuándo es que le preguntamos que yo quiero saber quién? O sea, el sujeto, ¿verdad? Y, yo, y del otro es que yo quiero saber a quién. Ah, sí Vaya, por ejemplo, bien. pongamos un ejemplo de, de su compañía. Uh -huh. Digamos usted, este, alguien hizo un error. Uh -huh. Ajá, alguien está cometiendo un error, alguien está trabajando mal, alguien no está haciendo bien las cosas en su, <ríe> en su empresa. Pero usted no sabe quién es la persona. Entonces usted quiere saber la persona, quién es, que me está molestando la garganta un poquito. Ah, quiere saber quién es la persona que está cometiendo ese error. Quiere saber quién es la persona. Entonces ahí quiere saber usted el sujeto. Ajá. Vaya, entonces, ¿cómo hace esa pregunta? Si sí, digamos lo que yo quiero saber, ¿quién está haciendo mal trabajo? Eh, who is doing, doing a bad job? Who is doing a bad job? Who is doing a bad job? Uh -huh. Entonces yo quiero saber quién, ¿verdad? Entonces, ese who es el, es el sujeto. Ese who es el sujeto porque es el que yo quiero saber. Who is doing that mistake? Who is doing a bad job? Who? Entonces, como eso es lo que yo quiero escuchar, eh, vaya, por ejemplo, cuando usted hace, vaya, quizás lo, lo voy a poner en otro ejemplo con usando con where, por ejemplo, where es dónde, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, where are you working? Entonces, yo quiero saber a dónde, ¿verdad? Entonces, uso where. Where are you working? Yo quiero saber cuál, pero no puedo mencionar en medio de la pregunta 
el lugar, porque eso es lo que quiero saber. No puedo decir, where are you working at Pollo Campero? No puedo decir así porque es lo que yo quiero saber, ¿verdad? No puedo dar la respuesta en la misma pregunta. Entonces, lo mismo en esa. Who is doing a bad job? Yo quiero saber quién. Yo quiero saber. Entonces, no puedo decir una persona porque esa es la que yo quiero saber. Entonces, el who es el sujeto. Y Esa persona que... es la que yo quiero encontrar, who. Ajá. Y en el caso que ya sepamos el sujeto, o sea, para... No, si ya lo sabemos, no voy a preguntarlo porque ya lo sé. Entonces ya no sería forma de pregunta, ¿verdad? No, ya no lo pregunto porque ya lo sé. No puedo saberlo porque eso es lo que yo quiero saber. ¿Quién es el sujeto? Who is making a bad job? Who is representing the company? Who is planning the meeting? Who is? Who is? Quiero saber quién, quién, qué. Vaya, dígame un ejemplo usted. Eh, who is driving the car? Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿qué quiere saber usted? ¿Quién está manejando el carro? Uh -huh. Who is driving the car? Eh, ah, ahora, sí. la, ahora la otra va. Ahora, ahora usted quiere saber a quién usted le va a, por ejemplo, usted quiere saber, usted tiene que, usted, ¿verdad? Usted es el sujeto, pero usted quiere saber a quién usted va a llamar. Entonces, va, el who es, ya no es el sujeto, sino que es usted en la oración. Who are, Who are you calling? Who are you calling? ¿Quién está ¿A quién está llamando? Pero, pero ahí el, usted es el que está llamando a alguien, ¿verdad? Usted está llamando a alguien. Entonces lo que queremos saber, la persona a la cual usted está queriendo hacer cierta acción. En el caso de usted, ¿verdad? Puedo, cualquier sujeto podría ser. Entonces, who are you calling? Who are you calling? You are calling, ¿verdad? Tú estás llamando. You are calling. ¿Pero a quién? Uh, who I are you calling? My sister, my Vaya, hágame boy. usted otra, una pregunta. Quiero ver si más o menos la podría hacer. Con diferentes verbos. Sí, o sea, hágame una pregunta original. Piensa en algo y conviértalo en inglés. Who is... No. Who is to visit? ¿A quién vas a visitar? Who, entonces sería, are you... Who are you visiting? Who are you visit, visiting? Ajá. Who are you visiting? Who are you visiting? Le estoy haciendo la pregunta a usted, ¿verdad? Who are you visiting? Um, Entonces, ahí el sujeto visiting. de la oración es usted. Ajá. Porque a usted I le estoy am. haciendo la pregunta. I am visiting my friend. Uh -huh. I am visiting my friend. Who is driving the car? Eh, Peter is driving the car. Entonces la respuesta siempre me va a salir una, la persona que va a hacer la acción, ¿verdad? Porque es el sujeto. Y en la otra siempre es usted, no es la persona, ¿va? sino que es usted. Who are you visiting? You say, I am visiting my friend. ¿Ve la diferencia en la respuesta? Yes. Ajá, sí, por ahí va. Vaya, lo dejo como tarea. Piensen más tarde y, y reflexionenlas. Vaya. Ok. And see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.